Hi all, this is Murugan Pattasamy. Today we are going to discuss about mediation analysis. Why we are interested in mediation as well as mediation analysis? To extend the existing theory, we can use mediator. To better understand the phenomena, we can use mediator. To increase the theoretical contribution of the particular research, we can use mediation. It is also well accepted in the top journals like Academy of Management Journal, Journal of Operation Management, Journal of Management, Journal of Applied Psychology, Strategic Management Journal, Journal of Occasional Behavior, MIS Quarterly, and so on. If you are new to mediation and moderation analysis, start your reading with Baron and Kenny article. The title of the article is The Moderator Mediator Variable Distinction in Social Psychological Research. Conceptual, Strategic and Statistical Consideration that was published in the year of 1986 in the journal called Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. A small introduction about simple mediation concept as well as mediation analysis. 29 years later, the seminal paper that is the previous one, this one, published in the journal called Journal of Personality and Social Psychology as an 59,247 citations. You just imagine the impact of this paper in social science stream. Uh, mediation is one way that a researcher can explain the process or mechanism by which one variable affects another. A small definition about mediation is a pre-established causal relationship between two variables. Let us say this x and y is theorized to exist due to an intermediate third variable called this m. So here in the simple mediation model, this m is known as mediator. The entire model is nothing but simple mediation mediation model. So here, for example, let us assume x could be considered as job autonomy, y could be considered as organization commitment, and m could be considered as job satisfaction. So here I am hypothesizing that how job autonomy is affecting organizational commitment through job satisfaction. So here the role of job satisfaction is transmitting the effect from job autonomy on organizational commitment. So this is what the role of job satisfaction as far as this particular simple mediation model is concerned. There are other names or other terminologies are available to refer the mediation. For example, uh, a mediator could be considered as or called as intermediate variable, explanatory link, indirect effects, surrogate effect, intermediate effects, intervening effects and so on. How you can test the mediation? Using Baron and Kenny steps, this one is very traditional one. There are uh, a lot of uh, advanced methods as well as procedures are available. Uh, if you are more interested in those steps as well as those procedures, you can refer Hayes published materials. Professor Hayes from um, Ohio State University from USA. So you can refer uh, his publication. Similarly, Professor Christopher J. Preacher, you can also refer their publications for uh, knowing something about mediation as well as moderation concept. Uh, maybe in my next video, I am planning to add some more advanced topics related to the mediation as well as moderation analysis. As far as this particular paper is concerned, Baron and Kenny steps are concerned, we need to perform three regression analysis for testing the simple mediation effect, that is how X is affecting Y through M. In step 1, we need to test the relationship between X and Y. Here we are looking for significant effect for this C coefficient. This is also referred as total effect. So the diagram A is rep representing total effect model. In step 2, we are interested in getting significant effect for this A coefficient. So here we are testing the relationship between X and M. In step 3, as far as this paper, uh, this citation is concerned, in step 3, we are testing the relationship between M and Y. We are also looking for significant coefficient for this B. But actually it is not necessary. In step 4, we are simultaneously linking this X as well as M on Y. Here we are looking for significant coefficient for this B. So this is what 
the three step process of testing the mediation using baron and kenny citation also using regression analysis so when we can conclude complete and partial mediation in this process in the last step that is uh, simultaneously we are linking x and m on y no in this process suppose if we get significant effect for this coefficient called c prime that time our interpretation is partial mediation suppose if we get zero effect for this c prime coefficient that is referring complete mediation or full mediation so we can also decomp um, that is decomposition of the effects could be done using this particular logic so total effect equal to direct effects plus indirect effect very simple that is this total effect c equal to a into b plus c prime similarly you can also find the indirect effect by detecting your c prime value that is this c prime value with this c that is c minus c prime the rest of the effect is nothing but your indirect effect that is a into b this equally exactly holds sorry this equality exactly holds for multiple regression but not necessarily for other estimation methods like structural equation modeling partial least square sam approach and so on so estimating the total effect you can also estimate the total effect using the same logic that is total effect equal to your indirect effect plus your direct effect in this model the c prime is referred as direct effect this a into b is referred as indirect effect and the c coefficient is referring total effect there are some extensions to mediation concept one is serial mediation and another one is multiple mediation in serial mediation case we are trying to understand the underlying mechanism between x and y through m1 and m2 so here we are getting three path mediation effect that is how x is affecting y through m1 and m2 for the entire path or if we multiply this coefficient let us assume that this one is a and this one is b and this one is c for the entire path as well as for the entire coefficient we will have to get significant effect also if you multiply this a with b and b with the c that effect should be significant statistically significant so this is what serial mediation effect so in in simple sense in serial mediation effect we are trying to understand the underlying mechanism between x and y through m1 and m2 and another uh, extension is multiple mediation in multiple mediation concept we are trying to understand the strength of the two mediators uh, which is included between x and y whether this m1 is acting as a strong mediator between x and y or this m2 is acting as a strong mediator between x and y for example let us assume that x could be considered as service quality and y could be considered as loyalty here i am positioning m1 as trust customer trust and m2 as customer satisfaction suppose if i get higher coefficient for this particular path that is x on m2 and m2 on y and lower coefficient for this x on, x on m1 and m1 on y finally my conclusion would be m2 is acting as a strong mediator between x and y which means the role of customer satisfaction is very high between x and y compared with this particular variable called customer trust